Ooh, well, it's certainly a lot colder here in Boston than it was in Europe. I got up at 4 a.m. today and I couldn't sleep because that was uh, essentially 10 a.m. back in Europe, which is the time that I'm used to. All right, so the goal for today is to walk the two and a half mile long Freedom Trail here in Boston. And if you're not familiar, the Freedom Trail is a collection of 16 historical sites in uh, like the downtown Boston area in and around there. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I've been to Boston quite a few times, but I never had the opportunity to do this. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do it. All right, getting right into it. Stop number 16 here, since we're going north-south, we're going backwards, is the Bunker Hill Monument. And as you have probably guessed, this is here to commemorate the Battle of Bunker Hill. And just so you guys are aware, do you see these two brick wide uh, line here? Well, that is what the trail is marked by the whole two and a half miles. So that's what we will be following. Stop number 15, USS Constitution, also known as Old Ironsides. So this wooden vessel with three masts is from 1797 and is the oldest naval vessel that's still afloat. Stop number 14 is Copps Hill Burying Ground, and this is a historic cemetery here on the north side of Boston that was established in 1659. Stop number 13 is the Old North Church, and what makes this church famous is the fact that this is where the signal was sent to Paul Revere on his famous 1775 Midnight Ride. More about Paul Revere next. Stop number 12 right here is the home of the American patriot Paul Revere. Need I say more? Okay, moving right along, we have stop number 11 right here behind me, and that is Faneuil Hall. So Faneuil Hall has been a meeting place and a marketplace since 1743. And if you can tell, we are now in the downtown slash business area of Boston. Now, inside Faneuil Hall today appears to be just a collection of shops and some tourist information. Okay, stop number 10 right here is the Old State House, and this is where in 1770 the Boston Massacre occurred. And stop number nine is specifically the site of the Boston Massacre, marked by this cobblestone circle right here, which is right below the old state house. All right, guys, we're halfway there. That brings us to stop number eight, which is the Old South Meeting House, which is right here behind me. This is a congregational church, and it's famous because this is where the Boston Tea Party was organized. Stop number seven is the old corner bookstore. I'm 100% sure this is it, but now it's a Chipotle. No clue why. Stop number six is this Benjamin Franklin statue, but more importantly, this is the site of America's first public school from 1635. So some of the alumni from the school were Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Samuel Adams. So stop number five is the King's Chapel, which is right here behind me in the cemetery right next to it. And the cemetery is famous just because a lot of people, famous people were buried here. And also it served as the inspiration for Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter. Stop number four is the Granary Burying Ground. So people that are buried here that you probably know are Samuel Adams, Robert Payne, Paul Revere, John Hancock, among many, many others. So as you can see, this is like a hot spot here on the Freedom Trail. Stop number three is the Park Street Church. And this is an active church that's been around since 1809 here in Boston. And it's famous for William Lloyd Garrison's anti-slavery speech here in 1829.
stop number two is the Massachusetts State House and with that gold dome and the beautiful blue sky today, I think the architecture alone justifies its spot on the Freedom Trail. And finally we have stop number one which is Boston Common and that is this 50 acre public park right here behind me. That concludes our walk on the Freedom Trail today. What part was your favorite? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, my name is Tony Florida and I make videos like this every day. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you tomorrow.